Hi, one of the problems I've got is I've not been able to get hold of a nano sim yet. T-Mobile um, in the UK have said that theirs will, will be available from the day of launch or, or thereabouts, but I've not been able to find anyone locally with one. So what I'm going to attempt to do is to take the sim card out of here, um, which obviously is a micro sim, and trim it and put it in the iPhone 5. I don't know how successful it will be, um, and if any of you are going to consider it, um, obviously the standard warnings of you could screw up your SIM card totally and utterly, so unless you're confident um, or you're not worried about doing that, do not risk it. What I've done is I've diverted all phone calls from my 4, 4S from this SIM to a pay-as-you-go SIM, another handset that I've got, so that if I do destroy this SIM card, I have a means of receiving my phone calls until I can find a shop somewhere that can can supply me with a nano SIM. So obviously the first thing that we have to do is whiz out the micro SIM. So there we go, that is, is out and put together. So let's get rid of the iPhone 4 at the moment. I'll just mark up a SIM where I think I need to trim it and then I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, there you go. I've marked up my SIM card um, where I need to cut it. Basically, it on these three edges, it's around the plastic, just trimming up to the gold um, going around. On this side, on this particular SIM card, as you can see, I've got to cut through the, the gold terminals itself. Um, basically when you look at the SIM card there's eight terminals on here. One, two, three, four at the bottom, one, two, three, four at the top. Um, on a, most SIM cards only six contacts are needed and it's the these six leftmost ones that are needed. These two here are just redundant. So theoretically cutting that there shouldn't matter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off and just trim this um, carefully off camera um, and I'll show you the results in a second. Okay, so there we have it. That's the SIM card, um, slightly trimmed down. Let's just see. I think I did manage to clip it in there. I've intentionally left it ever so slightly tight just so that it doesn't fall out but there you go that's sat in the tray there so the next thing for me to try and do is slide that in the phone which is there and see if we get a sim card popped up Okay, so there we have it. It says no SIM in the corner. That is the trim down SIM. So let's see how as I pop that in. Still says no SIM. It can take a while to register. No service, so it's detected that there's a SIM card there because it's gone to no service. So let's just give that a second. Now I've got signal. Thank God for that. So there you go, one micro SIM converted to nano SIM. Okay, so. I'm just hoping that there's not too many screens to go through. I'm going to set this up as a new phone. I'll sign in with my ID. Okay, there we are. I've signed in. I click agree. Agree. I'm just hoping. I just want to show you that it can make an outgoing call just to show that that sim's definitely working, but as you can see up here I've got full signal on T-Mobile, so 
I don't see why it won't work. Actually, as as soon as I um, finished the setup, I got a little box that popped up that said um, there was carrier network updates. Um, as you can see, instead of saying T-Mobile or T-Mobile Orange, um, it moved over to EE. Um, so because it's just done that update, it's just um, reloading the SIM card there by the looks of it. So let's just uh, give this a second to start up. Okay, so there we have it now. Instead of showing T-Mobile or Orange, it shows the E. That little icon's there because I still got call diversion activated to my other SIM. But just to to prove, you have no new message in your mailbox. To change mailbox features, press. So there you go, all working on my micro sim, um, and over the next few days or weeks I'll go and get a proper nano sim.